It's painful. Painful. I'm telling you. I'm such a wimp. Okay, here it goes. Just say it. Hey, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. And we're gonna take a little trip out to the sandbar today and see how difficult it is to anchor up with the winds. And um, they're not too bad. What were they? 12? 12 to 13 knots today. 12 to 13. So not horrible, but you no. probably hear it in the background. Yeah, and the water is really, really beautiful today. Uh, lots of lots of pretty light greens and dark greens and clear over the shallow parts because the tide is it's at low tide. And I wish you could see all the marks that the boats have made through the uh, shallows here, tearing up the seagrass. We watched a boat go through yesterday, just tearing everything up because they didn't know they were supposed to be in a channel, obviously. Um, so if you're an inexperienced boater, please follow the channel markers in through channels so that you don't destroy the seagrass. That's right. Anchored up. Here we are. Laurie's testing the waters I'm back there. Testing it, and it is not that one. <laughs> and you, you might see me wimp out and get my wetsuit on, or at least my shorty wetsuit, because. Ah, uh, you can do it, baby. I don't know about this. It's awfully cold. So, guys, this sandbar that we're at, it's uh, just east of uh, Cocoa Plum Beach and Curry Hammock State Park. Let's see, Curry Hammock. Curry Hammock's right over there. Coco Plum is right down past it right there. And I think they call this little beach Valhalla, I believe, I'm not positive, but this is where everybody comes uh, in Marathon to hang out down here at the sandbar. And as you can see, it's just beautiful behind us to look around back there and see how gorgeous this water is, sandy bottom. Absolutely pretty out here. So anyway, Laurie and I are gonna get in the water and try to clean some of the algae line off the boat. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, our boat has hair on it. It has a beard. Or a beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funky looking. Yep. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of this boat ever is this little platform. What do you call this thing? Dive ladder. Dive ladder. Well, yeah, this little platform jut out. So you can easily hold your little handrails, step down into the water. It's not as bad the second time. I might make it. Might take me a while. Go for it, baby. Just go for it. Mm. It's painful.
painful. Painful, I'm telling you. I'm such a wimp. Okay, here it goes. Just sing it. <laughs> we'll see what happens when my GoPro on my head. Not too shabby. So believe it or not guys, this hole was actually painted um, less than a year ago. We bought this boat back in September. Uh, the bottom paint looked pretty good. It had been on about six months and we've had it in the water for six months since September of last year. And uh, this is what's grown on the bottom of the hole so far. Uh, it's been sitting in the water every day since September. We live out on the ocean side. It's in the current every day. Uh, both incoming and outgoing tide and this is what's left after six months of being in the water down here in the keys now granted i don't think the bottom paint was in the best shape but you can see how much damage is done just in six six months of time down here in the florida keys you really got to do your upkeep on your boat so we're definitely do some bottom paint very very soon probably going to pull this boat out of the water within the next uh, month or so and get everything stripped and painted Well, we gave the boat a bath. A good scrubbing. Laurie said it was like trying to wash a cat. She was bouncing all <laughs> over the place. Hitting Whew. you in the head and waves in your face and all that good stuff. But I think we made a big dent in the algae growth, don't you? I think so. That was yeah. a workout. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we got our exercise in for the day. Hey, and if our friends want to come down and go boating with us on the sandbar, guess what? Bring a brush. Yeah, everybody gets to join in the fun. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna try to get out of here before the we get up in the shallower water. Well, hey guys, it's the next day. We had uh, a work day at the sandbar yesterday, but uh, we just got back from the sandbar, spent the day out there today, just chilling out, having a good time. And uh, so if anybody's interested in doing that trip sometimes with us, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it on our YouTube channel before, but I'm, I'm running a charter service now and we run that trip out to the sandbar. It's a great trip for a family, lots of fun, and a fairly inexpensive trip too. Just a lot of fun hanging out out there. So if you're interested in taking that trip with us, make sure you visit us on uh, Facebook. It's Gable Charters on Facebook. So Facebook forward slash Gable Charters and uh, look us up, give us a call. Come down and go out on the sandbar with us. And hopefully all this coronavirus is over real soon so you can come to the Florida Keys and see the sandbar and experience all the beauty there is here. No kidding. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we'll make sure you like and subscribe on our channel and we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Bye.